everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat and I am a flight attendant for a major US airline. So you guys have been asking me for hair tutorials for so long. So in today's video, I am basically gonna be showing you how to fix a blowout with your straightener at home. I feel like this is just one of my favorite looks because I can throw a neutral makeup look with it and still look very classic and classy. Or I can throw like a smoky eye with it and I just feel like a little sultry, a little sexy, you know what I mean? I just feel like this is such a great hairstyle. It's really timeless, it's really easy effortless and looks beautiful but before we do that if you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and head on down there and press the subscribe button and give this video a big old thumbs up if you do like videos like this and want to see some more content like this but without further ado let's get into it so obviously as you can see I got some big old curly hair so that's basically how I'm gonna be doing it but it doesn't really matter if you have straight or curly hair Honestly, if you do have straight hair, it's probably gonna be a little bit easier for you, but it's really not gonna make a difference. So the next step that we're gonna be doing is basically taking our straightener. So I actually have a cheese straightener and mine does have heat settings on the side so I can pick the heat setting. So we're gonna be turning it on and then I like to keep mine at 390 degrees Fahrenheit. For me, it just kind of works the best with my curly hair to get it straight like the first or second time. But pretty much just choose whatever heat setting that you're comfortable with that you're not going to be frying your hair to death. So I'm going to be at 390 and while this warms up, I'm going to go ahead and section off my hair. So for the first section, I'm going to go right around here and take about this much. Now I do have like really, really coarse thick hair. So I'm going to be doing smaller sections all the way up, but obviously if you have thinner hair, you can probably do larger chunks at a time. Okay. So my strainer just went off. It is officially heated up and I'm going to be separating this into a left and a right side. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is basically taking a brush, I'm just starting at the ends and brushing this one time, just so everything's nicely brushed through. Okay. So now once I've taken a little bitty piece, it's kind of about, this much hair. We're gonna be taking the straightener and starting at the root and going slowly but never stopping the thing. You're gonna get to about here and then twist it for a curl. And then once you've got your curl, you're gonna go ahead and kind of just help it out to just curl it a bit more. So there's the first curl. And if you're not happy with it, you can go over it a second time. So we'll just go ahead and go over one more time. right in the middle just twist it and pull and that way you get a nice cute little curl now the biggest trick is actually alternating the curls so about every other time I'm gonna go clockwise and counterclockwise and clockwise and counterclockwise so that actually keeps the curls from sticking and bunching together it keeps them more separated which is gonna give you a fuller thicker look that you would traditionally find in a blowout so for the next section we're just gonna take a small little bit again and this time we're gonna be going into the opposite direction. So start at the root and ever so slowly till we get to about the middle and then twist. And then from there you can see what the curl looks like and if you like it. So basically for the first half of the hair you want to straighten it and then start the curl in the middle section all the way down. All right, so we're gonna do that for the rest of this. So we'll separate another small section again go back through with a hairbrush we're going to be going in the opposite direction then here twist it and pull on through and then just help the curl and one last section in the opposite direction there we go we're going to go over this one one more time All right, so there we go. That is this side. Now, let's go ahead and start the other side. Okay, so there you go. Let's check all the curls and make sure I'm happy. We're gonna do this one one more time. I'm actually really happy with those curls. So now what I'm gonna do is be taking a little bit of hairspray. This is Tresemme Extra Firm Control Before Hairspray. So I'm gonna be taking just a little bit of this and just really spraying 
the curl. So now we're gonna be going over to the next section. So now for this section, I'm gonna take just slightly above the ear, right there. Take all your new hair and just part it back in two and pretty much do the exact same steps. Okay, so we have the bottom half pretty much done with the curls. So we're gonna be moving up to the next section. Now for this section, I like to take from here to here and go back to where like the crown of the head is. Once again, part it on the sides and then go do the exact same thing. Okay, so now what I've gotten to the crown is when I'm actually gonna start my part, I usually put right here. So I'm gonna start going kind of towards my part and doing this part and then doing this part. Now pretty much the entire thing is going to be the same except the final pieces that are gonna be right around here, you want the curls away from your face. So let me go ahead and do all of this. And when I get to this last curl, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so now that I've gotten to this last piece that's near my face, instead of just holding a curl here, I'm literally gonna pull it away from my face. That way it kind of flows back. So you're going straight, straight, straight. And then when I go do the curl, I'm actually gonna have the curl starting back here. Let's do it one more time. So it's gonna go straight, 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 and then pull it backwards and start the curls if it's going back here. Because you really want these front curls to kind of go away from your face. Because that's really gonna get this kind of full effect that goes away that's typical of a blowout. Okay, so let's do the other side now. Okay, so once again, when I've gotten to this forward piece, we're gonna start curling it away from the face. So we're just gonna come down and then start curling this back here. Go one more time. Okay, so now that I'm here, I'm actually gonna start pulling hair from back here and keeping this for the last part. So I'm basically gonna pull everything that's gonna go behind the crown so right here that's going to be the next step that we're going to do and leave the complete top for the last little bit so once again part it on both sides and do this part okay so now that we've gotten straight to right here again my part is going to be over here but i'm first going to just part it down the middle and put this hair on this side just to get it out of the way. Now some other tips is if you want some more body and some more volume on the top is by actually straightening the hair upwards and then starting the curl. So for example, let's take this piece right here. So you're gonna see I'm actually gonna start straightening it this way and then start the curl up and out like that. So we're gonna go one more time and just kind of straighten upwards and then start the curl. And if it ever gets stuck like that, just kind of twist it and that way you can twist it out. But you don't wanna curl the entire hair by twisting this because it'll completely twist your cord around and then eventually it's going to short out your straightener. So you really just wanna turn it once and then pull it so that way you're not really messing with the wiring on your cord. But if it does get stuck and it's not really going, then just turn your straightener and that'll help really release it. So once again, I'm back at a piece that's near my face. So I'm really gonna start pulling the curl away from my face. Okay, so now that I'm back on this last part, here's kind of where I part my hair. 
So this is just gonna be really kind of like sectioned off into two different parts. Okay, so now for this entire little front piece right here, I actually want all of that to go away from my face. I don't want anything curled here. So for the rest of like this little part of hair, everything's gonna be curled away from the face. Just take this piece and straighten it for some volume and then curl it away from the face. Okay, and then because I have curly hair, I have to go back through and make sure that I didn't leave any like curls kind of sitting up here because you really do want the blowout effect where it's kind of straight yet curly. I'll go right back over the top and you just kind of want to like brush it up a little bit to make sure it's brushed out and then just straighten just the top part. And then any other parts that are like that, just kind of straighten just the top part. Now I personally like some extra volume right in here. So I'll sometimes go back in with those pieces and just kind of push up. So you'll just put some extra volume right back into there. And then I'll do the same thing on this side. So you'll just take the straightener and kind of do like one of those. And that'll give you a little bit of extra volume. Okay, so now that we're here, Gonna spray the curls one last time. Okay, so once you're here and you're kind of happy with how the curls are and you're just looking and anything that's kind of gone like this and gone a little bit flat, you can just take it and go right back over. So now that we're there and it's all kind of hairsprayed and it's kind of how you want it, then you'll go ahead and either take your brush or take your fingers and just kind of start pulling out some of the curls because you really just want some loose curls, some like full body blowout. So you'll just kind of just take your fingers through them and really relax the curls. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much how I fake a blowout. Now, little bitty bonus tip that if you do want some extra volume, other than just taking this and like going back over pieces and kind of going upwards, like I said, creating some extra volume in there, is you can actually take a comb like this, pretty much made for teasing, and you can tease some of the top parts. So for example, we'll just take this little part right in here and just take a little bit of hairspray, and then you'll just back comb that section, and then just brush it on out. And so that way you can add some extra volume in your hair as well. I feel like that's in every Southern girl's arsenal over here. And you'll literally just back comb it up and sometimes I'll back comb it in the other direction. And there you go. So that's pretty much how you'll just do a fake blowout with a straightener at home and get kind of that old Hollywood, just really subtle, really, really pretty hair. So if you do like this video and you do like videos like this, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I cannot wait to see you guys next time. Bye.